So how I am going to do this test is basically using this reactive light from my keyboard. When it lights up, when I press it, pretty much that blue light will help me align all the videos um, on these tests. And then I'm going to use some post-it notes right here to pretty much, you know, figure out, you know, because I, I don't want to confuse myself um, on all these sets, you know. Alright, let's get on with the test. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this in real time and see if we can spot the differences. Let's play that one more time. So looking at this video, you can't really tell, you know, what's faster, which one has less input lag because in real time, you know, your your eye is not really gonna be able to tell the difference. But that's why we did this recording in 120 frames per second camera. I could have done it in a 240 frames per second camera, but this is all I have, so. But this should be enough, sufficient enough um, data. So let's go ahead and go to where the blue light starts. So let's go ahead and skip it to where the blue light actually lights up. Because that's where we all aligned our videos. Let's go back a little. One frame right there. Let's start right here. Okay, so as you can see, I lined up all the blue lights here. If I go back one frame, that's where it disappeared. I mean, before I actually hit the button, and then the blue light. That's the next frame. And I actually all lined it up. So I'm gonna skip this one frame, frame by frame, and you'll be able to see which one, uh, which one has the less input lag of all four of these. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see PSR Virtual Box version is already shooting here. Well, the other three hasn't even shot it yet. So let's keep going. Again, yep, still ahead. I mean, it will be always ahead now. Already has the smoke coming out of the guns here. These two are just starting to shoot the gun. And PlayStation Remote Play hasn't even shot the gun. Right, let's keep going. Okay, as you can see here, um, B Loader and Pi version that's when you actually started seeing the smoke PlayStation Remote Play hasn't even we haven't even seen the smoke here and then um, Virtual Box like way ahead of all these three keep skipping here frame by frame okay now it's shoot, starting to shoot right here now we can actually see the smoke from PlayStation Remote Play here. You can see PSR Virtual Box has smoke already started to disappear here. Let's keep skipping frame by frame. Still ahead. I mean, clearly ahead. you can see clearly ahead his gun is already centered so yeah from based on these tests p 
PSRC PC version or virtual box version is clearly the winner. B loader and Pi version of a PS PSRC is like tied pretty much. Um, if we go back here, you see they like both shot at the same time. Let's take a look at B loader and PSRC here. Pi version. Pretty much the same time they shot the gun. Even the smoke is pretty much aligning the same. And PlayStation Remote Play is clearly has the highest input lag out of all four. And uh, there's a reason why we use B loader. The reason why we use PSRC is to, you know, definitely not get this input lag. So, yeah, um, hopefully that helps a lot of people figure this out. Um, I did this, um, I did this test for, for my own pleasure because, you know, I want to be able to compete competitively and not have the this kind of input lag for sure because you can't play like that you know, on a very competitive online games like COD, Battlefield, Fortnite, whatever, you know. We can't have this. So um, that is, this is the reason why I did the test, figure which one I would actually run. Hopefully this one um, helps out a lot of people, this test, and uh, yeah. Okay, so for our final test, I want to see how the VirtualBox version of PSRC does with this direct connection of SIM, meaning it's directly connected to your PS5, which should have no input lag here. So let's go ahead and see it in real time first. Of course, we won't be able to tell the difference with our eyes here. That's why we do these tests with the uh, 120 frames per second camera. Uh, let's uh, go to where the blue light starts and make sure I didn't skip a frame. So right here. So we're clearly aligned the blue lights here. So let's go ahead and uh, move forward frame by frame. Alright, so VirtualBox started moving here. Uh, the Zim direct connection also subtly moved here, just not as obvious as this one. It's just probably a variation of my refresh rates, but I can clearly see that they're both um, moving. Um, not quite sure why this is more obvious though, but they're both moving. See, uh, see there's like, now it's more obvious right here that there's more movement here compared to this one but they both started moving though so smoke same smoke uh, yeah same s it's at the same time when the smoke comes out of the gun oops hold up we were not trying to do that let's go back here Go back to where the smoke is. Okay, right here. So honestly, from these tests, it seems like the virtual box has literally no input lag at all. I mean, comparing it to the, you know, Zim directly connected to PS5, it's literally pretty much the same input lag, if there is any input lag at all. Of course there is, uh, you know, it's always an input lag. Um, but yeah, um, this will be definitely my preference of playing 
competitive online games um, from here on out unless uh, Apex VIP aka Rupture improves the Pi version um, which I'm sure he can not really exactly sure why the virtual box PC version is much faster than the Pi version um, but yeah, uh, so far this is what I would recommend playing online competitive multiplayer games.